what's going on exo community exo stomp here and today people we're going to be going over our team that we have made a roster for season eight of the forge so um this is going to be a little interesting because i know people like half of the pokemon that i picked up the rest they they pretty much dislike and i do want to explain why i chose certain pokemon and um yeah so, so we'll we'll go over them real quickly here so top top three were kind of busted in my opinion uh first off we got toxicity with the electric and poison here we got punk rock and technician i probably don't i mean honestly punk rock is 99 percent of the time going to be taken over technician but yep uh we have some really good moves here i mean obviously boom spamming boom burst on toxicity is insane the biggest thing though for this uh mon is shift gear you press shift gear there's practically no way you outspeed this thing unless you're running a faster uh scarf mon which is obviously possible but yeah uh it has pretty good moves uh overdrive is very nice because again it gets boosted by punk rock which is great and with uh shift gear you do boost your attack so for instance if i do need uh like a drain punch or a fire punch or something like that you know it, it'll be able to be used which is nice um actually for power up punch technician will be pretty good i guess so um you know you don't have to with these stats you actually don't have to run special attack it usually is better because of how punk rock works um boosting basically your your two your special attack stab for electric and then boom burst but um yeah you don't have to there are ways to kind of work around it so yeah um yeah i don't know this, this mon is really really fun it also has a nuzzle so it can be super annoying to get those uh those paralysis um off on mons that are even faster than it which is great and yeah i mean overall you guys kind of you probably know this pokemon because this in my opinion this is i feel like a lot of people use toxicity in their uh runs because it's just it's a, it's a really cool mon really cool typing and yeah somehow it got to us when we are fourth pick um i don't know how it got to dda in Laron. i think he's 10th he was 10th pick and it got to him i don't know how to explain that but toxicity very good mon to start off all right going on we have the swampert here uh water and ground type pretty it it helps out toxicity very well because swampert's out uh, and I go for a flip turn on an incoming grass type. I can go into Toxtricity. I can technically go into the next mon that you see, but we'll get to that. Uh, Swampert. I also just wanted to use Swampert a lot. I wouldn't say... Yeah, I wouldn't say all these Pokemon, because I have used some of these Pokemon before. Uh, but a lot of these Pokemon I really wanted to use because I, I either haven't yet uh because i've gotten buffed since i used them or whatnot for instance swampert i haven't used it with flip turn and i think it got body press yeah it got bulk up so it's it's a super cool mon it also has high horsepower so it won't be weakened by another mon that's coming up if you guys know my draft you know what it is um and yeah sadly it can't use refresh because we're not using older moves but that's that's okay we have, um, oh, no hidden powers either. Yeah, I mean, it, it has enough in its arsenal to uh, be threatening with both attack, special attack, um, and I'm, honestly, defenses as well. Super good. So, all in all, uh, an amazing second pick. Third pick was Moltres. Don't know how Moltres got to us um, for third pick. It's an insane combination with Swampert. Um, I'm not sure if we used it, if anyone used it to the, its full potential yet, but very, very good. I mean, these, these this trio can easily 
volt switch volt turn around constantly because i mean volt switch foot turn and u turn together it's really good um Moltres and Swampert are good together because their quad weaknesses are resisted by both of them. Um, and they, obviously, they both have Pivot, yada yada. Uh, Swampert doesn't have any recovery, which is probably the biggest thing. Um, I don't think there are any water ground types that have like a like flip turn plus recovery. I think they either, either have one or the other. So at the moment, Swampert Moltres is probably the best for uh, this combination. Was going to go with Talonflame. Talonflame was on the board as well. I was thinking about should I save my points or not? And I looked at the mons that I wanted to use. And I didn't... I, I could spare the... I don't know. What was it? Three or four points. So, yeah. Very good stats. Uh, another big thing for Moltres is that it's actually threatening for uh offensively because it does have now the scorching sands that can hit rock types if they do want to come in uh and is is just bulkier so yeah i, I wanted to use multi i've used it before um but not with this combination so i definitely want to try it out anyways Machamp is our fourth pick. So this was Scrafty at first. The um, reason why I went to Machamp is because I, I looked at Scrafty, and even though Scrafty is a very nice pickup, I wanted to use a fighting type that was able to just completely destroy Amon when it comes in. So I wanted to do that. Like, if this was Scrafty... I wouldn't really be able to pivot in to Machan or Scrafty very easily. Well, I would, but it wouldn't be killing things outright. Machamp kills things outright. 130 attack. It need to be Guts or No Guard. If it's No Guard, it can press Dynamic Punch, uh, Stone Edge, stuff like that. You know, it could, I mean, whatever. And then Guts, obviously, Flame Orb. Um, it also hits super hard, can also have Bullet Punch. So. Yeah, it has. It also has high horsepower. So, yeah, <laughs> very, very, very good pickup. I wanted. It was either gonna be Machamp or Surfetch. I wanted to go with Machamp here because, um, it just kind of fit the mold a little bit better. Uh, Surfetch, yes, does have first impression, but. It doesn't have stuff like Bullet Punch. I don't think it has high horsepower. Could be wrong. Just Machamp has more variety in moves. And I've used it once before. And I loved it. So I wanted to use it again. Anyways, next Pokemon. We got Tauros. Our normal type here. Uh, reason The reason I picked this up was because... I wanted to use it. But now that I'm now that I'm looking back at it... I do this a lot. You guys know me from, from last season. I, I pick up monsters I want to use them, and then I realize that they don't fit on my team. Always what's happened to me, so whatever. <laughs> Basically, I picked it up because um, it, it hits like a truck. I mean, 100 attack, 110 speed is great. Uh, it has sheer force. It can run sheer force of life orb. It has a ton of coverage. However... It works the same exact. It also has high horsepower. It all. It um. It works the same exact way as Machamp here. Yes, it is much faster, but the way that Tauros works is the same way Machamp works because we're going to try to pivot out into these Pokemon to be able to break. They're both wall breakers here, so I'm probably gonna switch this up. Um, I'll tell you guys what what's up with my team well i mean I, i've talked about it in well you guys might not see it yet the agron prs but yes i guess i might as well talk about it but anyways next pokemon we have galarian rapidash um really really fun mon here uh i'm gonna probably have to make it shiny because uh shout out to galaxy bomb 
he uh he got a shiny galarian rapidash well first galarian ponita but uh and it was great it was great it was it looked amazing so i mean i might just have to use it even though in here it doesn't look that good <laughs> i might have to um but yeah pastel veil is probably gonna be the ability that i'm gonna be running most anticipation's interesting because I'll see if they have like a certain coverage move for Rapidash, uh, which can help, but we'll see. Pastel Veil is just super good so that it can't be poisoned in case I'm afraid of Toxic Stall or something from a team. Um, it does have a few setup moves as Calm Mind, yeah, Calm Mind for special and Swords Dance for physical. Um, it has. It's special attack isn't bad, and it's attack is great. So, well, it's 100, but... So, yeah, it has high horsepower as well, obviously, because it's a horse. Um, and I think it can do very well. It has a lot of coverage. Uh, does have Morning Sun, if I remember. Yep, Morning Sun. So, it, can, it does have reliable recovery if I need it to be recovering. And, yeah, honestly, overall, I wanted to use it this if this mon did get taken i had another one uh another backup uh fairy type but i'm glad that i got it because i did want to use it and it does help my speed tiers a little bit here uh all right next mon here thwacky which is why i kept bringing up high horsepower um grassy surge this thwacky is great okay it, it was i think it was seven points um with a violet uh, it's it's a lot tankier than this with the violet. Its speed isn't bad with 80. It does have grassy glide and knockoff. It has leech seed, U-turn, swords dance, taunt. I mean, it has a lot. The the big thing for it is that it's a grass type that can take uh, a few hits. It's kind of like Tangelo, where with the violet. Pretty tanky, but without it, it could die very fast. Uh, we're going to be using this Grassy Surge, Grassy Terrain, um, to really help out our Mons. A lot of our Mons are hitting the ground, so we're going to be using it for Reliable Recovery, uh, which is going to be helpful for our next Pokemon, which we'll go to right now, Glaceon. Glaceon will probably be running Heavy Duty Boots 90% of the time because of its ice typing. So that reliable recovery with Thwacky's uh, grassy terrain will be great. It also, it, I mean, it has the wish passing abilities, which is also great. Um, and it was five points. A five point Glaceon is great. It has as much special attack as a Curum. And it has freeze dry. So like, what, what switches into this thing, honestly? Um, I love it. It's, it has, it doesn't have the best moves, but it has stuff like Weather Ball, which can be interesting. Um, it has Triple Axel, which is kind of weird, because I'm, uh, yeah. It has Ice Shard, in case. I don't know. It's basically an evolution uh, that is a special attacker. And honestly, I, I've used it before, and I liked it, so I wanted to use it. A lot of these Pokemon, I'm going to say the same thing, because... That's how I focus my drafts on. If I look, I basically make a list before draft. And I'm like, okay, I want to try out these Pokemon. And then I just pick them up. And if they don't fit together, then... Yep. Good luck. <laughs> That's what happens. Uh, Spiritomb. Spiritomb's cool. Because it does... It, it's, it's good. Alright, it's... I know it was, what, like, 6 points, but even without this 50 HP, it's very tanky. It kind of reminds me of a more offensive Dusclops. Uh, it's going to be a little weaker than Dusclops, but it also doesn't have as many weaknesses. And, yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know how to describe Spiritomb really. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it does have Infiltrator, which is fun. 
It has that Calm Mind, which is also pretty good. It has a Nasty Plot. Uh, it's got Stab, Sucker Punch, and Shadow Sneak. It's got Trick, Taunt, Will-O-Wisp. I mean, it's it's a fun looking Mon. Um, and I was looking at picking it up. Uh, I ended up picking up the Scrafty, and then once I was pick dropping it from a champ, I'm like, well, I need a Ghost and now a Dark again. Spear Tomb fits, so I made it fit here. The next pickup uh, wasn't the last pick because no one can afford, or could afford my last pick, I believe, at this point. Seedra. So Seedra... Now, look, this was a one-point Pokemon. I looked at my team at this point, and I saw that nothing, nothing likes water hits. Um, I mean, honestly, if you look at my team, we start from the beginning. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. No, 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 no. Thwacky? I mean, if it gets burnt from Scalded, it's not gonna like it. Mm. Eh. Maybe. Glaceon. Spear Tomb. If it's special, I guess it doesn't, doesn't mind getting burnt here. But, like, this is my only resist. So, I was like, well, let me grab another resist here. Seedra. Um, if it is a physical water type, it can take a hit with a Violite. 95-55 isn't the worst. It's kind of like Tangela here. Um, it does have more depth than Tangela. Keep that in mind here. Uh, it does have Poison Point as well. Poison Point is very, very good. Again... This, this Pokemon for physical water types is actually pretty good because it can take some hits. Um, with Poison Point, it can obviously poison them. And it does have some setup moves like Dragon Dance. It has Sniper, so it can use like, like that Focus Energy set. Uh, it has Flip Turn, which is very good. Uh, it's Scald. Scale Shot. Yeah. It has a few coverage moves here, but... Um, all in all, I really just picked it up because I wanted a one-pointer. I was in between this and Ledian, and I figured because of my next pick, I didn't want two bugs, uh, even though they're not weak to the same thing. Um, kind of didn't want two bug types, but Ledian actually might fit a little better here because uh, we'll, we'll go over what's wrong with my team a little bit here. We got Fortress for my last pick. Fortress didn't really want to pick this thing up, but... I needed it to kind of fill in a lot of the holes that were missing for my draft. Um, we got... Okay, so the problem with my draft initially was that we didn't... We had one rocker, which was Swampert. And we didn't have any other hazards. So Fortress is going to fill that in with Toxic Spikes, Spikes, and Rocks. We also only had Defog and Moltres. I wanted to get another hazard remover, so Fortress also fit that bill. And, it, you know what? This wasn't necessary, but it does have Volt Switch, which is very nice. And, um, yeah, honestly, not a bad Pokemon. I kind of wish it was in this gen so it can get Body Press. If this thing had Body Press, oh my god. It would definitely be a lot higher on the list, <clears throat> on the tier list, but, yeah. I don't know if I'll like this Pokemon. It's a little passive. However, you know, it has that 90 attack. So I, I can maybe do a few things. It has Gyro Ball. So it's going to be hitting pretty hard if it's versing a slower Pokemon. Um, but yeah, all in all, I have a lot of quad weaknesses. One, two, three. I had Scrafty, but I got rid of that one. Uh, four. I have four. They're all different, thank God. But, yeah. Anyways, um, that's my team. But, again, my big problem, probably, special water types. Um, oh, yeah. I want to switch out Tauros. I'm probably going to do this before this video, right before this video goes up, most likely. Um, probably going to switch Tauros for... Where is it? For Drampop. I don't have a Dragon-type. 
Again, it's not necessary, guys. A lot of people say it's 100% necessary. However, in this position, again, I don't really have a good water switch in. So this will help it out. It also is the same point value as Tauros, which is good. It gives me even more special attack, which I don't necessarily think I need, but it, it hits like a truck. Um, one second. People, god damn it. Uh, and it does have Sap Sipper, which can help out Swampert. Oh god, hold on. Yeah. Alright. It does uh, have Sap Sipper, which can help out Swampert. And it keeps that normal typing again, which can uh, beat up those ghost types. Uh, or at least take hits from ghost types. Kind of like Tauros, although if it's a ghost type that has a fighting move, uh, well, Tauros couldn't really take it. This could probably take it. Again, pretty defensive as well. So it could definitely help out. The issue with that, though, is that I'm losing my fastest Pokemon in Tauros. And then... I just have Rapidash, and then it goes down to Moltres. So it makes my team a little slower. And I don't have webs. So it kind of... It's kind of an issue. Um, I'll probably... I'll work around it somehow. I don't know how yet, but I'll try. Um, there's ways. Honestly, I mean... There's ways. It's it, I have a very slow team right now. Okay, so I may make a few trades before this goes up. Probably this Drampa one's going in because I just it, it makes it makes the most sense to me. I mean, it, it just does. It also gives me another defogger, right? Uh, so yeah, that's probably that's the biggest thing. Gives me another defogger. Gives me a dragon type. Keeps the normal. Saps so I prefer. Swampert's good. Uh, Berserk, insane. You know, so those are the big reasons. But yeah, that's my team. Tauros is here for now, so uh, I don't know if I'm bringing it for the first game or not. I might. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for my team builder. Uh, the uh, post drafts power rankings should be going up. A few hours after this goes up so definitely be on the lookout for that and yeah guys i'll see you next time peace